Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another update. And this update, we're we'll talking about a Caribbean tropical wave along with stalled frontal boundaries that will bring flooding rains to Jamaica and the Caribbean. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media, right? So let's get started. Let's start off with the latest uh, satellite uh, picture of the Caribbean as I'm making this video on March the 4th. And you can definitely see we have some stalled funnel boundaries that came over the U.S. and they have since stalled right over the Caribbean. And you can actually see in the tail end of that, uh, fronts are notorious to spinning up little areas of low pressure. And that's what's actually going to be happening, kind of evolving over the next uh, several days as these stalled frontal boundaries keep, reach all the way down in the Caribbean, bring some below average temperatures uh, down there, but also will bring uh, some rain that will be a compounding effect and turn into flooding rains as we get into the middle of next week. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here as we kind of take you through the maps over the next uh, several days. First, let's talk about uh, what's going to be happening later on today for the U.S. We're in a predominantly quiet, quieter time right now over the U.S. We did have that little area low pressure that came through, brought some much needed rain for Los Angeles and to San Diego. I think they picked up like a third of inch. Uh, over there, which is actually, you know, just about, they haven't seen any rain in about a month. And that's actually going to bring in some snow for parts of uh, Colorado. But that'll just bring a uh, transition into some rain showers into parts of uh, Oklahoma as well as Kansas. But you can definitely see that stalled frontal boundary down here in the Caribbean by uh, the Cuba as well as uh, the Yucatan. And that's actually going to bring in, bring in some more rain down here in the, into the Caribbean. And by Friday, you can definitely see that little pattern that was over Colorado bringing snow and brought some rain into Oklahoma. Now that's traversed, you know, kind of grazing the, the, the Dallas Fort Worth area with a 20 or 30 percent chance of rain. But mainly East Texas, these are just light, moderate showers, nothing too heavy or anything like that. But you can see predominantly it's fairly quiet um, over the U.S. as we're in a kind of a, a, a calmer period. Uh, now over over the United States and even into Saturday, you can definitely see much of the United States is pretty high and dry. We do have a little bit of a front that's entering the Pacific Northwest, but we're talking mixed precipitation and the higher elevations. So nothing terribly too cold out of that feature. We might have some little lake effect snow by uh, New York. But yeah, look at the stalled frontal boundary where it's been very warm into uh, Florida that's going to aggravate the rain issues for Florida, but also keep uh, penetrating further south into the Caribbean. And that's just going to set the stage for our big rain event that we're going to be talking about in uh, the Caribbean. So let me show you as we kind of zoom into the satellite picture. This is on Friday, March the 5th. So that cold front that we kind of highlighted, uh, that's going to be stalled right along uh, into, uh, the, into the Caribbean here. And like I mentioned, just like within hurricane season, we whenever you get a stalled front, they like to be on the tail end of those fronts. A little area of low pressure can spin up. And over time, that's actually going to what's going to happen. It's not going to evolve into any sort of you know tropical characteristics or anything like that. But it is going to be a tropical wave. And it has... Uh, a lot of rain showers uh, and heavier rain showers with it and it's going to be kind of a step down effect so as as rain starts to fall and a fall and accumulate over a daily process those heavier rains will turn into possibly flooding rains and also possibly cause lands landslide issues by the time we get into the middle of next week so let me kind of walk you through because yeah definitely by friday you can see this elongated uh boundary here right over um the caribbean getting into parts of the bahamas i mean we're talking the, the dominican republic here's uh jamaica getting into parts of the cayman islands uh, and even into Yucatan. So I know we have spring break uh, coming up next week. Some guys might be traveling down here in this neck of the woods. So I definitely wanted to give you a heads up on uh, what's actually going to be happening in, in the Caribbean. So as we kind of take you through 
uh, Sunday, you can definitely see these stalled frontal boundaries. It's not just one. It's 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 a multiple frontal boundaries that will, that will tr keep traversing across because we had a cold air recently in the United States that has finally made it down to the Caribbean. That's going to bring some below average temperatures for this area, but also aggravate and tap into those warmer temperatures where you have been fairly warm and then aggravate uh, rain issues and then transferring into flooding issues by the time we get into deeper into the weekend and especially as we go into next week because you can see this just continues adding to the effect so first it'll initially fall soaking to the ground but as the ground becomes very moist it's not going to have any time to soak anymore i mean it, it's going to be very uh wet and uh, so a lot less likely to uh, soak in the ground because here's the the precipitation water content index and look at the graph here i mean we're talking anywhere from one to two inch these are per hour rainfall rates so there could be some flash flooding setting up even as early as monday as these stalled fronts i mean look at the brown air that's very dry here so it's bone dry out here in the uh, bahamas and out here into uh, portions of the, the southeast off the southeast coast but right along that boundary of the of the uh the cold front that'll have that tropical wave and you can definitely see some of the reds here that's upwards of three inches per hour now that's not going to say rain at your house you know every single hour three inches we're talking the available potential of water content in the atmosphere it has the maximum potential at any given hour to rain two to three inches per hour so yeah it can accumulate in a big way in a fast way and come on quick and subtle because you know that the, the atmosphere would be more prime to uh, tropical type downpours and this type of setup and that's what we're actually going to be faced coming up for uh portions of the beginning of next week and that'll just aggravate and compound on those issues by the time we get into the middle of next week even in the next weekend as you can definitely see some of those yellows extend all the way into uh, jamaica into the cayman islands now and we're talking anywhere from uh, nicaragua and, and honduras as well and even parts of the yucatan i mean even in these greens here one inch per hour is nothing to play with and that could definitely aggravate those flooding issues and it's a compounding effect it's not going to just happen all at once it's a compounding effect over several days will just aggravate the issues and i do feel we could have some flooding concerns to be at, talking about by the time we get into the middle of next week because there's monday i mean there's a satellite picture on monday and you can see it's a narrow band but where that narrow band uh, lies that's where you're gonna have the flooding issues so my main concern would be the dominican republic and the island of jamaica and especially north of the island of jamaica i know i have a lot of followers in jamaica that followed me over the hurricane season and i wanted to make them aware of this issue coming up because this is almost like a a tropical storm in a way because it's it is going to pack some higher winds at a time but it's going to be like i mentioned it's going to be a compounded effect over a several day period and by the time we have a lot of rainfall on the north of the island but right around the blue mountains here we could have those landslides on the back side getting into kingston and that's what i'm really worried about as that traverses down the mountain and as that uh, the soil moisture content really amplifies and deepens by then that is because is a concern of mine for uh you know flash flooding and uh, possibly landslides by the time we get into uh, the middle of next week and so as we continue and show you wednesday talking about the middle of next week by march the 10th so we're only talking six days from now on a compounding effect over a six day period and then now you've got those reds starting entering the picture of the dominican republic getting into jamaica with those rains over a six day period and now you're bringing some of those heavier rains with no soaking rain to soak into the soil that's where you're going to start having issues by the middle of next week and that just traverses across and just aggravates and possibly extends even to into the end of next week because there's thursday it just not really go anywhere i mean these darker greens are your you know one to two inch rainfall rates per hour and it's still over the same general type of area J dominican republic jamaica especially north of the island the south of the island is not going to be hit too bad but it's a downward trajectory event so you got to realize the event is coming in from the north 
east and it's propagating to the south so and the wind direction is that way too so that's going to be pounding into the island with those heavier rains and then the soaking rains and then the water has nowhere to go but down into the island and i think that that will could be a concern even on the south side even though you're not expecting as much rain as the north you will have those a lot of the same issues by the time it gets to the south of the island just because the wind direction is going to be pounding the island uh, over an extended period of time so that that is definitely a concern of mine and you can even see by friday this does not go anywhere for all week so it's going to be a a daily kind of compounding effect you can definitely see even by friday march the 12th so even you know we're talking eight days from now yeah it's still going to be an issue with heavier rainfall over the Dominican Republic, it were over portions of Cuba. Now you're probably getting into almost portions of the Bahamas. Definitely the Cayman Islands. You could have you know people traveling. You know, like like I said, next week, and then getting into Jamaica as well, and portions of uh, Costa Rica is not out of the question as this continues uh, to push further into uh, the Caribbean. And like I said, even by Saturday. It, it's, it tries to phase out. It tries to kind of lose its luster in a way, and it will eventually. But we're still adding to those rains and adding to those flooded concerns, even by next weekend, March the 13th. So that is a, a, a definitely a, a huge concern of mine. And like I mentioned, over that 10-day period, yeah, between the compounding effect of multiple fronts being stalled over the same area and heavier rains, those colder temperatures are going to be probably kind of locked in and have those below average temperatures over the next 10 days for florida parts of the yucatan getting into the getting into cuba the cayman islands jamaica dominican republic even puerto rico is going to be seeing those below average anomalies over the next 10 days so if you got plans down here expect a wet one and expect a cooler one so i don't expect too much sunshine in the caribbean i'm just kind of letting you know and so as this continues moving across you can definitely have these wind issues now here's the wind swath over the next 10 days and it kind of highlights where some of those higher gusts so yeah even in the greens these are miles per hour not not so miles per hour we're talking 30 40 upwards to 50 miles per hour you know tropical storm 40 mile per hour wind so yeah at times you can have tropical storm force winds heavier rain so this is a lot like a very low end tropical type storm coming over the area over an extended period of time that's going to be aggravating those flood issues as we go deeper into next week and so even let's take a look at some of the uh the rainfall projections yeah the european model is fairly bullish on this and you can definitely see some of these reds and reds and purples are upwards to possibly double digit rainfalls especially over the dominican republic those are the two areas that i think is going to get hit the highest in jamaica and especially the island the north island of jamaica is going to get hit hardest with probably 10 to 12 upwards to almost 18 inches in isolated spots is not out of the question on the north side of the island over the next 10 days lighter rains on the south side but yeah my my concern this would be on the north would trevect over the island you know over time with that with that uh, soil uh, really wet and nothing to go into so that's going to be a concern with landslides and you can definitely see right along the coast here we have those heavier rains along uh, Nicaragua and Honduras and even getting into Roatan and parts of the Yucatan and Cozumel Cancun as well so if you got planes down there expect a wet week and uh, even the even uh, the uh, Canadian model is kind of highlighting the same the same issues of those heavier rains over over the same areas and even the GFS is kind of definitely highlighting some of the north side of the island Dominican Republic right around the same area so they all are kind of hinting at that tropical type low traversing across the Caribbean stalled frontal boundaries compound an effect over an extended period and by Wednesday yeah we could be having flooding issues landslide issues over parts of the Caribbean and especially Dominican Republic and Jamaica so I appreciate you guys uh, watching at the end of this video uh, please check out my hurricane uh, outlook for 2021 you know they actually made it official they're going to actually start issuing advisories now as early as April I mean uh, May 15th this year 
we're only talking 10 weeks away so 10 weeks from now we're gonna be having hurricane updates every single day and uh, keeping you ahead of the storm so hey i appreciate you guys uh watching do like this video definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where i protect you before and after the storm